Hi church, my name is Debbie Walters and this is my devotional, My Miracle. In lockdown, I experienced anxiety and depression. I never really truly knew what it was to be depressed. I'd felt down at times, but I didn't really understand what it was or even to be anxious. And then in lockdown, lots of different things came into play and yes, depression kicked in. But there was a clear defining moment when I actually felt hope leave my life and despair set in. Because from that moment on, it was like a downward spiral. And there is a bio, there is a there is a verse in Proverbs 13 verse 12 where it says hope deferred makes the heart sick and my heart was genuinely sick. I was so down, there was so much disappointment, there's things I'd been leaving for that weren't happening. I had family members that were sick. I felt like everything around me was crumbling and I no longer could hold it all together. I couldn't hold it together and there was such deep pain and despair and I just wanted it to stop and I remember just crying all the time and being super angry and not wanting to get out of bed, not wanting to face the world and just wanting, just wanting everything to stop really and it, it was just so hard being in this place where there there's just no hope. There's, there was like nothing to look forward to. That's what it felt like. There was nothing to look forward to. And there is a verse that it, in Psalm where it says that, you know, God um, is close to the brokenhearted and those who are crushed, crushed in spirit. And there was a time when I couldn't do anything. I mean, I couldn't even pray. I love to pray and I could not pray there was thankfulness that disappeared and darkness seemed to just wanted to take over and I remember the day when I was able to pray and I was in my kitchen and I jumped around and I was like thank you Lord thank you for letting me able be able to pray you know the things that we take for granted is a thing when it's not there then you realize just how lost you are without it but then God gave me a scripture and he gave me Isaiah 41 verse 10. And it says, so do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. Do not be discouraged. Do not be disillusioned. Do not worry for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my mighty or my righteous right hand. And I remember like declaring that verse over myself, walking around, you know, just speaking it out, saying, God, you will help me. There's times when that's your only prayer. Lord, help me, help me. And I would be walking around the house and just saying that. I mean, I remember going to the doctors and saying, look, this is how I'm feeling. Is there anything you can do? I don't want antidepressants. And the doctors were like, well, not really. We can give you a number that you can self-refer for counselling. And I took their advice. I, I tried to get through, but I couldn't get through because they were overwhelmed at the time with the amount of people that needed help. But God came through. And with that verse, I started to declare it and the miracle started to happen before my very eyes. And now I can say that I do not suffer with depression and I am not anxious. And that is because God delivered me. God rescued me. He performed a miracle in my life. And there's a song that we're now singing in church. And in the chorus, it says, I will dance on disappointment because I know you're not finished yet. I will praise you in every season. Jesus, you're my confidence. And I sing that with every fiber of my being because God is my deliverer and he is my confidence. And he is the one that was there when no one was there. I live on my own. So literally there was nobody there but me and God. And in that dark place, in that valley, what you know, it talks about in Psalm 23, God met me and he carried me through and now I'm on the other side. So I am praising and I can dance on disappointment. So I want to say to you, if you're not already doing it, please cultivate a 
a, a, a rhythm of worship, a rhythm of, of reading your Bible regularly, because when you're in those places, the Holy Spirit will download a verse in, into your spirit, something for you to hold on, that God will give you a word for you to hold on so that you can decree and declare it over yourself to see a breakthrough, to literally see dark clouds shift and the sunlight come in. So I just want to say, don't give up because God is faithful. He is who he says he is and he will do what he says he will do. So have the most incredible and wonderful day and be blessed. Take care.